Rajesh came home after doing the workout. He was very hungry. He had some rice flakes and a glass of milk. The rigorous exercise made him feel fresh. When our health is fine, the appetite is good. We get sound sleep and the digestion is in order. We feel refreshed after getting up in the morning. After the final examination, all the friends went to the garden. They played lots of games. Then they decided to have Pani Puri. Everyone enjoyed the Pani Puri to their heart's content. Bhaskar got a stomach ache when he came home. He even vomited a couple of times. The water used for making Pani Puri must have been unclean and could have caused the stomach ache. You too should be careful. Do not consume the food items which are kept uncovered in the open. If you need to drink water when you are out, make sure that it is clean. When a person suffers from vomiting and loose motions, the water content in the body is considerably reduced. To restore the optimum water level, oral rehydration solution, ORS, is used. It can be easily prepared at home. ORS is prepared using water, sugar, lime juice and salt. The patient should sip the solution frequently. ORS powder is available in the market. We just need to mix it in the water. Suparna had a sore throat. Her mother gave her lukewarm salt water for gargling. Gargling with lukewarm salt water soothes the sore throat. Salt acts as a germicide. It kills the harmful germs and warm water brings quick relief. The throat gets healed in a couple of days. Sore throat is a minor ailment and can be treated with simple home remedies. If there is a major ailment, we should be cautious. Once, Sana's elder sister had fever which lasted for 5 to 6 days. Her eyes turned yellowish, she had a loss of appetite as well. Her mother took her to the hospital. The doctor diagnosed the illness as jaundice. He advised complete bed rest for three weeks. He told her to reduce the intake of oil, butter and ghee. Such food items are hard to digest. During illness, we should eat light food. Can you think of some light food items? Bread, roti and bhakri take a long time to digest. So, soft rice with non-spicy gun powder, that is chutney powder, or curd rice should be given to the patient. Drinks like buttermilk and sharbat should also be given. Such food stuff is easily digested and the stomach gets good rest. Sometimes there is no illness as such but a crisis, a time of extreme difficulty or danger arises. One must be very cautious at such times. Ramesh had a snake bite while walking in the fields. He screamed and shouted so the people gathered around him. They rushed him to the taluka place. Anti-venom, anti-snake bite medicine is available at the government hospital at such places. He was given the anti-venom injection. Ramesh was saved because he could get the medicine on time. If he was not rushed to the government hospital, his life would have been in danger. The anti-venom medicine is prepared from the snake venom or poison itself. So, we should not kill snakes. Hofkin Institute, a government-run institute in Mumbai and Serum Institute, a private institute in Pune, manufacture these medicines. Sometimes, people in the rural areas take the person bitten by a snake to a mantric or a quack. A person who claims to cure snake bites by chanting some mantras or verses. This is of no use. Time is wasted and it delays the treatment. In case of a snake bite, the patient should be rushed to the doctor immediately. Only the simple ailments should be treated with home remedies. Otherwise, it is better to see a doctor immediately. Simple minor ailments, cold, cough, home remedies, gargling with lukewarm salt water, 
indigestion, vomiting. Do not force the patient to eat. Skip a meal. Drink lime juice. Eat soft, semi-solid food like curd rice, rice gruel and soup. Minor injury. Wash the wound with water. Dry it and apply iodine tincture. Place a clean cotton and bandage the wound. Summary. Minor ailments are not to be neglected. Consult the doctor in a day or two. Avoid self-medication. Some people take care of other people's health and treat them when they are unwell. Such people are called healthcare workers. The services given by them are called health services or medical services. There are clinics or dispensaries and hospitals in big cities. In small towns and villages, there are government primary health centers and government hospitals where medical treatment is available at affordable rates. In big cities, there are municipal corporations which run hospitals to offer medical treatment. Always remember that chanting of mantras or tying strings never cure the ailments. Exercise Question 1. Write down the components of oral rehydration solution. Question 2. What will you do in case 1. Raiba gets bitten by a snake 2. Mansi suffers from vomiting 3. Mary's finger is bleeding due to a minor cut 4. Ehsan fell down from his cycle and his skin is slightly scratched 5. The football player fractured his leg